Hi, Trent Jesse here. In this uh, video tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to add a product variation to your e-commerce store using the WooCommerce plugin for WordPress. So, a uh, product that has variations looks something like this. So, I'm going to go over to one of my sites here at nutritionprinciples.com and I'll take you over to one of the products that I promote. And this is uh, this product right here is a, a product or a protein product that I sell. Now you'll notice on this product that there's a drop-down box for flavor, you know, natural chocolate vanilla and weight, you know, a thousand gram bag and a five hundred gram bag. So this is what we call a very variable product that has attributes in the drop-down box, and you can add multiple attributes here. And you'll notice that when I click on some of these attributes and I select what type of uh, weight, then it shows the price. Okay, so that's exactly what your variable product would do on your website once you add it through your uh, WooCommerce store and your admin area with WordPress. So to get started, let's come over here to the admin area of WordPress and get started on showing you how to do that. So I've already added a product, but what you'd want to do is you come over under products and click on add product and give it a name. Okay, it's your name of your product here. Okay. And then once you do, you put the description here. Okay, once you type in the description, you can either type this description in manually or else you can get uh, some of the information that you need from your affiliate product or if it's not an affiliate product, if it's a dropship product, then whatever the case is, put the description here. Okay, and then when you scroll down a little bit, in this product data section, you want to make sure that you select from the drop down box that this type of product is a variable product. It's really important that you do that. Okay, so as soon as you select the variable product option from the drop down, it's uh, very critical that you first start off with coming underneath the uh, attribute section. Okay, so this is the very first thing that you do after you click on variable product uh, to do this correctly. So you come over here and click on uh, add and this is going to give the option of adding a few as well as your first variation so we're going to do color right here alright and right over here under values it says here to enter some text or some attributes by pipe the pipe symbols on your keyboard okay right above usually the enter button on the right hand side of your keyboard you gotta press shift and that button right above the enter or return button if you're using a Mac and it'll look like this. Okay, this is the pipe symbol right there like that. Okay. So you enter some text. We're gonna do red, the pipe symbol, blue, pipe symbol, black, and we'll do one more. Okay, we'll do um, brown. Alright. Okay, now this is uh the attribute for color and use the check this box right here, it's gonna be visible on the product page, and it's gonna be used for variations. Okay. Now you can add, like I said, multiple very uh, multiple attributes. So we're going to add one more. So we're going to click on this blue button, add. So instead of color, now we're going to add sizes. Okay, mark these two boxes, and then we'll do small, medium. Oops, put the small. Looks like there's three L's, but there's not. <laughs> medium and large. Okay, so there's three values for this attribute. Now, that's all I'm going to add right now for this example product. So, after you do this, it's important that you scroll up and click on Publish. Okay? Once you click on Publish, then you can go back down and uh, continue on with the step. But what uh, that does is it adds and saves your work and it adds it into the system so the variation section right here will now work. So we've already added the attributes. Now you can come underneath the variations and click on it. And come over here and click on this link there. It says link all variations. It's going to save yourself a lot of time just by clicking on this button. So link all variations. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to link all variations? Okay, it's going to take all of the attributes that we've created and start to create the combinations that are needed um, for this product. Okay, so we're going to click on OK. And in a moment, it's going to tell us how many 
variations it automatically created. Okay, so 12 variations because we added four for the uh, um, colors and then three attributes or values for the uh, sizes. Okay, and then they combined all those variations together. So once you click on OK, it's going to give you a whole list of different uh, uh, variations that you just already created. So you'll notice that right here, the first one is red, small. So if I were selling a red hat, then they, this particular variation would be a red hat in the small size. And if there's a SKU number, you can put it. You can upload a specific picture for this type of product if you want. And if it's a downloadable product, or if it's a virtual, just view only online, then you can mark any of those that's uh, pertinent to your product. But it's not, in this example, it's going to be a actual tangible product that someone would buy. Okay, and if there is uh, X amount of supply in stock, then you would mark that. The really o the only um, necessary field that you'd have to fill out, fill out in this section right here to move on, if you don't want to fill out all these other sections right here, is simply the uh, regular and uh, what the price is, okay, the variation price. Okay, so that's important to put. So we're just going to put 19.99 and keep everything else blank because I don't uh, need to do that. But in your case, once again, it's uh, important to look at what your specific circumstances are for your uh, products when you add them, and then come in here and look at the uh, needed information that it's asking for. All right. So you put the uh, price in, and then this is the, the second variation, the blue small. Okay, I'm just gonna put the uh, price in once again, 19.99, and black small. Okay, and brown small. That covers all four of them. Okay, now it's going to go into the uh, medium size. Now the medium sizes were extra. Okay, let's say if there are um, 23.99 instead of 19.99 for the medium. Let's say they just cost it a little bit more, and you'd want to increase the price and put those in for the next variation group. Okay? So since there's only one, you know, the red medium, I'm just gonna put that there. And then uh, the red large, let's say the large was a little bit more, say $25.99. Okay? Then you keep on going on. And I'm just gonna quickly put these in here. Okay, so I'm just going to paste them all in here, and then once I'm done, then I can scroll up and save this product, and then I'll be all done. And then they're going to show in the drop down. Okay, so I just barely finished that last variation in this group, and this one is a brown large, and I'll scroll all the way up. That's not all the way up, but uh, until you see the product category, uh, or I'm sorry, the featured image section. Okay, this is where you add the image to your product. Okay. So the, you click on Set Featured Image link, and a box will pop up, and you can choose what type of image you want to use. So in this case, I'm just going to select some random image. Okay, I'll choose this cow image. <laughs> okay, and click on Set Featured Image. And if you've done it correctly, you'll see the image right there. Okay, and you can add some tags if you want. Tags are just associated words that are um, additional labels that are similar to this product that people will call them by. And then you can mark the category that it belongs to, okay? And then, and then you publish it, okay? And then, or in this case, it would be the update function. So once you update it, we're going to go and view the product and see what it looks like. And keep in mind, this is just an example product, but here's the name of the product, okay? And from 1999, that's where it starts off at with the price. And once we choose the product color red and the sizes large it's going to give us the real price for this type of uh, selection that I uh, marked okay, and then they can continue on with buying the product so this is how you add a variable product inside of WooCommerce uh, using WordPress